One year has passed since Detective Sonny Bond successfully brought Jesse Baines, the Death Angel, to justice. Baines' world of rampant drugs and open violence, the world he controlled so well, has been silenced. As the memory of this animal slowly fades, the city of Lytton once again lives in the peace and serenity of its past. Officer Sonny Bonds has been promoted to the position of Homicide Detective. The day begins with Detective Bonds arriving for another routine workday, or so it seems. Alright then, well, Police Quest 2, Vengeance. The name sounds slightly foreboding, doesn't it? Um, Police Quest 1 clearly was not enough punishment for me. I'm back. We're playing through all of them, back to back. Um, all four, and probably the VGA remake of the first one as well, I would imagine. Um, yeah, really looking forward to this. The uh, the intro is pretty cool. Love the music and everything. Looks like the visuals have had a, an upgrade. Very sort of Space Quest 3 era of Sierra, I think. Um, so, two detective bonds from Captain Hall. Subject ID of evidence photo. Please provide the last name of the person pictured in the attached evidence photo for homicide case 186751 please respond in the box below asap so i'm guessing this is copy protection um 186751 i i mean i don't i don't even know where that is necessarily this is a really good start isn't it um 186751 uh it looks kind of i'm looking at some pictures and it looks kind of like a guy called colby so yep yeah, okay we're in <laughs> that was the first test all right we're in look around you're behind the wheel of your personal car marie talked you into trading in your sports car for this sensible compact model uh so we've got rid of our really good car let's uh let's save it begins not it beings, it begins. <laughs> we'll save, just in case there's a way you can die here, which, you know, Sierra game. Right, let's look at the car. Uh, okay. Uh, look out window. Uh, Lytton Police Station and the parking lot. Detective's entrance is nearby. Uh, look in car. Okay. Uh, look, I just want to see if there's anything in the car, because, you know, we've been stung by this before. Uh, look, steering. Oh, God, I can't type today steering wheel i've been for a, a very long run this morning i'm a little bit a little bit all over the place uh the brown rubber of the steering wheel is very stylishly molded right is there a glove box because there has been in open the glove box there so let's see right let's see if there's something in there oh my god open the glove the glove <laughs> box oh my goodness all right uh can we click these things? We can't. We have to so see. It's a bit like Space Quest 3 where you have the mouse, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, look. Look in glove box. Oh, God. I cannot type today. In the glove compartment, you see car registration, your LPD business card. Uh, get card. Okay. We probably don't... Oh, nice! We get a nice little sound when we do something right. I don't know that we necessarily need to take the registration at this point, so it's probably best to have that in the car, right? Okay, uh, can we get out? Okay, we can. Whoa! Look at Lytton! Well, this is certainly an upgrade, isn't it? Okay, right, well. Uh, business card, we'll call this. Wow, I mean, this is this is looking really cool. You're in the parking lot of Lytton's newly remodeled police station. This is the detective's entrance. All right, nice. Oh, yeah, I can see our nice car, which is uh, certainly more sensible than the uh, the Corvette we had last time out, isn't it? That's, um... Oh, I remember this. It, it sort of... The, um... The door is kept locked for security reasons. Do we have a key? Money clip your LPD business card. How do we get in? Open the door. Unlock the door. You need the correct key. Use the key. I'm pretty sure we don't have a key. Um, okay. Well, maybe we've got to go around to the other entrance. Or, like, look in the window, maybe. This window looks a little bit open. Outside reflections and mini blinds block your view into the windows. You become embarrassed as you realise what your fellow officers must think of you now. Uh, okay. Can we open, like, the trunk of the car? Is that a thing? Open trunk. Your car's hatchback hasn't worked since its warranty expired. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> so how do we get in? I, d I mean, I don't see that there's like a... Look, station. Uh, look at the door. 
Not close enough. Alright, let's go to the door, see if there's like a button we can push to be let in or something. Unless we use the, the business card. Use card? What do you what use do you intend? Unlock door. Uh, okay. Look at the door. Door opens into the detective bureau. Alright, well, um <laughs> it seems like the the parser is at least a bit more forgiving than you can walk to your drop, but you'll be late for work. Okay, well, we ain't, we're not going that way. So the prodigal suddenly returns. Glad to see you came back before something terrible happened. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we, we don't we don't want to, you know, die straight off the bat. So, um... Hmm, okay. I'm guessing there must be keys somewhere. Can we look, look around? Uh get key take the keys from the ignition okay let's look at the keys keys to the detective entrance your desk drawer your personal car and storage bin of course we keep all of our keys together you know why wouldn't you all right well we've got the keys <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be another another difficult game isn't it right um unlock door you unlock and open the door all right we're in way look at this oh, it looks so different Okay, into the station. Uh, look around. You're in Lytton's newly remodelled police station. This is the hall. There are several doors, a counter, and an evidence window. Okay, so it's mostly the same. Uh, is, the, is the guy still going to come up to the window? Oh yeah, here we go. Hello, Sonny. Big John says, how can I help you? No, we're just To be honest, we're just looking around, Big John. Um, let's look at these pictures on the wall. One is of former police chief, chief Whipplestick, and the other of current police chief Eric Click Heitman. Okay, so Whipplestick's gone now. So looking at these doors, this one looks like it has something... Oh my god. Uh, is this the... What is going on here? This is the Homicide Office. The Homicide Office is equipped with five desks, a file cabinet, a locker, and various other items hanging on the wall. On one of the desks is a computer. Okay, so this is the homicide office. Oh, there's a guy there now. Can we go into this room? Okay, look around. The narcotics office is equipped with five desks, a file cabinet and various items. Okay, so is that is that Laura from Sp uh, Police Quest 1? I keep saying Space Quest. Look at Laura. You don't see her here. Okay, no, fine. So this is narcotics. This is homicide. Uh, what is this? Oh, the shower room. Okay, fine. We had our troubles with that last time, didn't we? Um, what's this? Oh, God, this one's a bit dirty. The burglary office is furnished with the regular stuff. Bulletin boards, desks, a wall map, bookcase, and computer. Okay, what's this way? Oh, it's like a firing range. This is the shooting range. Each officer is expected to maintain a proficient level in weapons training. You see the weapons officer, Ken Mills, standing behind the equipment counter. Oh, please tell me we don't have to do any, like, prove yourself in shooting or something. <laughs> it's just going to not go well if we do, is it? Uh, who's this? Look, officer. You watch the traffic officer, Mario Galepsi. Books, evidence. Okay, fine. Uh, well, we're homicide, right? So I imagine we go in here and we go to our desk, probably. Uh, is this our desk? Sit down. Uh, okay. Look, desk. Your desk is equipped with drawers, a phone, a message basket and a lamp. Uh, okay, so can we have the key for the drawer, right? You un unlock and open your drawer. Uh, look in drawer. Your desk drawer contains thank you letter and a wallet. Okay. Uh, look letter. You see it in the drawer. Get letter. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, get the wallet. Cool. Okay. Um, fine. Uh, look in wallet. In the back of your wallet you find your scuba diving certificate. Okay, nice. We got a score for that. Um, look at the letter. A card from your good friend Marie Wilkins. On it is the message, Sonny, thank you for turning my life around. Love, Marie. Uh, is that Sweet Cheeks? I think it might be, mightn't it? Might might well be. Uh, okay, close the drawer. Fine. Can we, can we lock the drawer? 
we can i feel like we should probably do that just because you know procedure and literally everything else in this place um so what else do we have on our desk your desk is equipped with drawers a phone um, a message basket and a lamp all right let's check the uh check message basket in the basket you see a subpoena you pick up and read the subpoena you are commanded to appear in Division 4, Superior Court of the City of Lytton, as a witness for the people in the retrial matter against the defendant Jesse Baines. I had a feeling, given that it was called Police Quest 2 Vengeance, that Jesse Baines would be rearing his ugly head again, and it looks like he will. Notification of time and date will follow. You can't believe what you just read. Just as the memory of this rat was passing into oblivion, he's back for a retrial. Of course he is, and he's going to get out, and stuff's going to happen. You know, you can, you can almost just, you know... You can just tell. Uh, right. Uh, what else have we got? Look, desk. Uh, phone. Okay. Stand up. Your partner Keith takes a be deep puff and says, Say, Sonny, I heard that dirtbag you sent up the river last year is back in town for retrial. Isn't his name Baines or something like that? Maybe this time you can put him away for the duration. It just seems like the garbage of this world gets every chance known to man. It, it, it does. You're right. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Uh, right, let's look over here at this uh, board. You scan the bulletin board and see the shooting schedule. Below the board is a rack of car keys. The shooting schedule indicates you are behind on your scores. <laughs> I've got to say, I love that sound. It's really good. <laughs> Does that mean we've got to go and do shooting range practice? Uh, look at the map. A map of Litton hangs on the wall. Oh, we didn't get any points for that. That's a shame. Uh, okay. Can we... Can't go that way. The captain speaks up and says... Well, Bonds, no doubt you heard about Jesse Baines by now. The district attorney told me that the reason this jackass won a retrial was some technical BS about improper jury instruction. It's a real shame, but that's life. Uh, okay, thanks for that. Uh, can we, like, have a look at this, this cabinet? Look, cabinet. File cabinet contains many reports, case histories, and other police stuff open the cabinet uh okay so we got jason to there who obviously we um we arrested in the last one and then he died and then jesse baines look baines okay baines jesse uh sloan and frank scars tattoos abdominal scars caused by bullets uh okay fine M murder jason to Attempted murder on Sonny Bonds. Okay, close file. You replace the file. Uh, okay, uh, read to Selly. Deceased. Marvin Hoffman, Re Leroy Pearson. Flower above the left nipple, yeah, the tattoo. That was the, the distinctive thing, wasn't it? Uh, okay, fine. Close file. <coughs> close drawer. Okay, yeah, the, the parser is definitely more forgiving in this game, so far at least, so that's a relief. Um, right, what do we want to do now? That's the, uh, that's the question, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, is there anything else we can do in here? I mean, I'm not really seeing anything. Could maybe use the computer. Okay. Uh, turn on computer. Command. Uh, turn off. 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 Close. <laughs> okay. Uh, exit. Yeah, fine. We can use the computer. I'm not really sure what for. Um, where do we want to go? I mean, maybe we've got to go and do shooting practice. Maybe, maybe that was the, the clue. They said that you know, we're behind on our scores. But I'll tell you what, guys, that probably feels like a good place to end this first episode. I'm looking forward to this. It's good so far. Um, feels a little bit overwhelming because we're not really sure what we're doing, but really excited to get into it. And the visuals and the upgrades and everything are great. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.